man, oh man. Do y'all see what's behind me right now? Do y'all see what's behind me? Oh my goodness. This is literally a dream come true. Like I'm literally in awe right now, but it looks so amazing seeing all these coasters. My first ever visit to Cedar Point. I'm gonna take y'all along for the ride, try to ride every coaster. I did get here a little bit late. I ended up pushing through five hours of the drive. It was an eight, hour, eight and a half hour drive for me uh, from Virginia. Um, I drove literally all the way here, but I had to take a break. Like I, I had to take a break after like the five hour mark because I literally was starting to get dizzy and like sleepy when I was driving. So I was like, all right, let me just take a break. I took about an hour break and I'm here. I forgot what time it is. I think it's like 11 something right now, but I will talk to y'all once I kind of get on the inside. Okay guys, so getting in the park is super easy. Like they have the easiest entry I think I've ever seen. One, they have somebody just waiting to check your bags and then they just scan your pass and you're in the park. It's super simple. Every park needs to get like that. I still like Carowinds entrance a little bit more actually. I think it just looks a little bit more just because it's like North and South Carolina uh, combined. It just looks really cool. But Raptors roar, oh my gosh. b and roar, man. It sounds really, really good. They <laughs> got some people in the shot. Um, I don't really know what to ride first. We're gonna see what's open because it looks like they're testing everything now because it literally just finished pouring down raining. One thing I noticed about this area, it has a super bad like floodplain. It floods like everywhere. Like it's just water everywhere. I mean, I know they're right by the lake, but it floods like everywhere. But we're gonna see what today holds. It does look like there are some lines for sure, but I can't really tell if it's packed now. I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of people here. So yeah, they're trusting everything. The lines are kind of long. It just doesn't seem like it's packed right now. I think mainly because it poured down right now. Like it literally poured, guys. And even though that phone too. That's Max Air. I'll definitely want to try to ride that a little bit later today if I have time. But yeah, they're testing everything right now. Nothing's open yet though. Okay guys, that was number three out of, that was my four giga I think, four giga, I can't remember. I, yeah, so I rode, what did I ride? I did Intimidator Fury. Yeah, so that was my third giga. So I need two more, so Orion and Leviathan and I'll have all of them. Um, man, it, it's it's solid. I do think Intimidator is better. I definitely think Fury is still number one as far as that. Uh, Fury is still my number one coaster, but that's probably going to change really soon. Unfortunately, the park is flooded out. So as far as getting every credit today, it's just not going to happen because the entire backside of the park is closed. So Maverick's closed, um, Steel Vengeance is closed, uh, Rougarou's closed, everything. Like, apparently there was a bad flood or bad storm the day before, and it also poured down raining before I got here. And that caused even more issues. So... I will say I love how loud Millennium Force is. It's super loud. It, it sounds louder than Intimidator, but um, I like it. Overall, it's solid. It's, it has nice floater, but it's nothing crazy. I actually like the end, honestly, the most, the way it gives you a little pop of airtime. But other than that, we've got to try to find something else that's open right now. But I will talk to y'all soon. <laughs> Top through too, can't even ride top through the original. There's a lot of stuff closed, guys. A lot of stuff is closed. I can't wait to come back though and see this area um, in the future and ride top thrill too and see what the what all the hype is about. So 
Gemini is running. I'm gonna go ahead and get those creds real quick. Uh, get those two creds. That'll make it 77 or I think 78. Yeah, I don't even have 100 yet, so I should be at 100 by the end of this trip if they open up the rides. Also, the birds here, the birds here, man, they're wild. They just fly right in front of you. They like talking to you. It's crazy. But we're going to see how Gemini is. I've heard it's pretty good. I've heard really good things about it. right now and that's the big issue so they're trying to get that situated i'm pretty sure the uh, associates and employees are all chaotic right now I'm trying to figure out what to do all right guys so as you can see steel vengeance and maverick are sadly not going to be opening today all i can do is look at the coaster that's it man it looks so good guys oh my goodness i hate that i can't ride this right now that's like the one main ride, Maverick and that. I wanted to ride that the most. All right, so I just finished getting off of a Gemini. That's the best arrow they've ever made. Oh my gosh, it's actually smooth. It's really smooth. And the ending's really, really good. Like you get some nice pops of air, solid, solid coaster. Very, I'm really happy I got to ride that. Oh my gosh, y'all! 45 minute wait uh, for that POS. It was it was better than uh, Anaconda King's Bay, but it was it's not the best ride. Um, I do I like the corkscrews that you do get like a nice ejector, I guess, pop of airtime. But I'm gonna go ahead and ride this power tower. One other thing I wanted to note uh, for Gemini, it was like a 10 minute wait because I was able to catch it just in time. Um, I'm gonna see what else is open because they are starting to they are starting to open more stuff uh, in the park. But again, I will be here for the second day, so we guys got to see uh, how it kind of plays out. But I'm going to be here till tonight, so yeah. Okay, guys, so I got off a of power tower. I did the one that shoots you up 240 feet. It was really cool, really fun. Way too long to wait. I wouldn't wait that long ever again for that ride. Um, it's like Fast Pass would be worth it, but it's not because there's nothing open. As you see what I'm around, I'm around Valraven Raven right now. It's testing. It's been testing for about a half an hour. Apparently Gatekeeper is actually running now, so I'm gonna head over there. It's about a 25 minute wait, I'm gonna do that. And then it looks like they're trying to let people in though for Val Raven. I'm seeing people walk towards it. I don't know, man, should I wait or should I go? Oh, uh, we gonna decide, I don't know yet. And also Blue Streak is testing too. So they're slowly, op they're slowly opening stuff, I think by tomorrow. I don't know what's gonna happen with the back out of the park. There's a guy actually over there by like the, uh, what is it, the uh, antique cars. He's like cleaning out something. So they're pretty much trying to get all the water from out of the area so they can actually operate these coasters. But I'll talk to y'all later. So one of the reasons I got this wireless microphone, guys, is because I can do stuff like this now. And uh, let me just tell you, that is my favorite ride here so far without having to ride Steel Vengeance or uh, Maverick because they're closed right now. This right here, B&M, they need to do more of these. I, I need to know what Thunderbird is like at Holiday World at this point because that was pure amazing. Like front and back, back was amazing because it just straight yanks you you get hang time this is a complete ride right here like this is one that everyone needs to do also it's walk-on right now 
And yeah, I also got to meet our uh, shout out to Rob and uh, Lindsay. They're really cool people. I also met a couple other people at the park. Um, really amazing ride. Like, I did get the front and back seat POV for y'all, so stay tuned for that. The vlog will probably be out honestly later. But yeah, this right here is a winner. Like, I still need to ride Val Raven, uh, Raptor, Rougarou, Rougarou, Mantis, whatever you want to call it, and Blue Streak, and a lot of other stuff. Oh, I need to ride the Rotten Mouse, so I actually probably go do that now. It is running. The water is finally starting to drain out of certain areas, but yeah, that's it, man. I really like that. That's definitely one of my favorite rides, so check it out, man. Now I gotta kick it into high gear. So now they're saying Blue Streak is open, Val Raven keeps going up and down. They keep testing the daggone ride, and then it goes down. Um, so I'm gonna try to go to Blue Streak, knock that out really quick. And what else? Oh, apparently Magnum's open. I gotta check and make sure that's right. I have to download the app because everyone was like, just use the app, just use the app. So I'm gonna use the app and we're gonna see if they're actually telling the truth or not. All right guys, here we go. First ride on Magnum. Let's see how it is. <laughs> this thing has a huge queue. Only has a five minute wait right now. It's probably pretty much a station wait. Fasten the tight securely beneath your box. Then pull down and lift up on your lap bar to make sure that it's locked securely on your lap. If you need assistance, notify the associate who will be coming by to visually check your seatbelt and physically check your lap bar. Yeah. All right, guys, this is Backbeat Barbecue. I just wanted to show it off really quick. It looks really nice in here. They did a really good job. So I'm just here to get in my drink really quick and I'm going to get my last ride on Millie. So yeah, it looks really nice though. I like that they stay open till close, unlike Kings of Minion. They're like, no, we're closing an hour early. Yeah, that's okay, guys, so I just need to get my uh, last ride on Millie and I'm heading out the park. It is literally 7.50, like four. I'm getting on it. I'm getting my last ride and I'm uh, getting up out of here. I'll finish out the vlog in just a little bit. I'll talk to y'all soon. it's walk on you see this this is what happens now it's walk on <laughs> let me tell y'all that was pretty wild seeing the uh earlier today this entire area not this whole thing but for the most part up to like here it was full it got crazy that's also because it was the only thing open and also people were using fast lane and now i understand what y'all mean by fast lane where it just conjoins that's like the stupidest thing in the world just let them ride or let them join the station, forget all that. I'm gonna try to get a front seat POV in out today. Nice little sunset ride. Hear the crickets. All right, here we go. Riders on the platform, please step back. The gates will be closing. Once seated, ensure your seatbelt is tightened securely against your body with at least one half inch of black webbing showing. Then pull down and lift up on your lap bar to make sure it is locked securely. Got my uh, second ride on Millie in the second seat. Way better than back seat. I can't, I'm actually surprised that it was better in the towards the front than the back um i will say it's way more forceful i really like what they did um that's that last little part is so cool like that little air time that pop of air time that you they jab you into the station that's how superman at six flags america should be but it's not and what's the other one that uh el toy ryan did a video on it it's i forgot where it's at it's not six flag darian lake i think i forgot where it's at six flag new england um but that park or that ride, that's what I feel like it could have been like that or it probably was even better than probably Millie. I don't know. Um, really good ride, really good day today. I will talk to y'all in just a little bit. <laughs> All right, so that concludes day one at Cedar Point. I don't know if I'm gonna go a third day. I really kind of want to and then I may just do I may do like part, uh, I may do it like half day on like Saturday and then go to Kings Island and then finish up Kings Island on that Sunday because Kings Island is not a hard park to cred. And if anything, I, I would actually buy the fast lane for probably Kings Island rather than Cedar Point because like I said, I'm only missing like a couple creds. And if they don't open tomorrow, then I'm screwed. So I, I need to at least try to go day three and see if they're gonna open it or not. Um, man, the day started off super chaotic. like. I was really trying to figure out what the world I was going to do. I was like, man, this is really bad. Like, I didn't even know there was a storm that happened the day before prior uh, that was apparently really bad. It actually flooded out a lot of the rides. 
and then it rained. It poured again before I got here, like I was talking about earlier in the vlog. Um, what ended up happening with that is that that made it even worse, and a lot of rides could not open. So it was, they were working pretty hard to try to get these rides open. Val Raven kept going up and down, up and down, and I still I was able to get a ride, and I got like I said I got all the POVs. They're coming. Uh, they might come before the vlog or after vlog. It just depends. The day got better and better, and I'm so glad I was able to get uh, Magnum XL 200. I got to meet a lot of people. The main people I remember, at least right now, off the top of my head, were, uh, I think it was Bob, uh, Jim, I can't remember, Lindsey. Um, there were so many people. Danny, uh, hope you get your car fixed, bro. There was just a lot of people that I met, and it was I had a great time here. The employees were really cool. Um, there was a lady who worked, I guess, at another uh, at Carowinds, and then she moved up to here. But, yeah, overall, it was just a great day. Hope you all enjoyed today's vlog, and I will catch you all on day two. Day two is probably going to be a lot of just like re-ride city and I'm going to try to at least get my other creds because I need to get to 100. So yeah.